Okay, um, good evening to everybody. Ms. Galdames, welcome, and Ms. Garcia, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, well, we're going to start with a uh, class that corresponds for uh, tonight. We're gonna be discussing about, um, we're gonna be discussing about classes, stating reasons and conditions. We're going to see some words, but we use it. And uh, also we're going to be developing some exercises in, in English. So I'm going just to set some things here. Just give me two minutes and then I'll be back. Just I need to set some things here in my computer, okay? okay. Uh, okay, um, in English, um, music, uh, okay, I was telling you that in English, we have um, some word that we use to join two different sentences. That's what, it, what we call a uh, clause. Um, when we construct a clause in English, um, we need to know um, sometimes what is the reason about something and um, and what's going to be the result about a, that condition. Um, also, so when we are discussing um, any topic or something that um, maybe we want to state in a sentence, uh, we can use sentences such as even if, as long as, okay, uh, also, and um, well, many others that we're going to be checking tonight that's going to, to help us to understand uh, this topic in order to develop the exercise that we have in the platform. And right now, what we're going to do is um, to play this video. Okay, I'm going to play it. And um, I will ask you to pay attention to the instructions that we're going to receive here, because then later I'm going to extend more information about it. And um, also I will be asking you some questions of, of this video. Please let me know if you can listen. Okay, I'm going to- Are examples of classes. Can you listen it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so yeah. I will play it right now. Hello, even if, as long as, unless, are examples of clauses stating reasons and condition. Stay with us for the explanation. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. 
Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case, or in case, introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks, just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or, I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following sentences with information about yourself, then share them in class. Okay, um, well, with the information that we have right now, uh, that we listened from this audio, we're going to complete um, the sentences that we have here um, in, in this chart. I don't know if you can read it. Can you read it? Yes, no? No. No, okay. I can't. If not, if not, I will uh, dictate you. Uh, so please take notes. Um, the first one. It says, "Unless I have enough sleep at night, comma." And we're going to use um, the sentence that we're going to 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 add here. Okay. The first one. Unless I have enough sleep at night, comma. Number two, I usually wake up on time, comma, as long as. Number two, I usually wake up on time, comma, as long as. Number three, I fall asleep uh, pretty quickly at night. I fall asleep pretty quickly at night, comma, considering that, considering that, if I'm running, please let me know, okay? Uh, number four, I always have a boring book on my night table, just in case I always have a boring book on my night table, just in case Number five, even if I'm extremely stressed out, I never, even if I'm extremely stressed out, comma, I never, number six, I only have a light on if I only have a light on if
Okay, we are we have just six uh, sentences here. What you are going to do is complete all those sentences with your personal information. Um, what is the, the the main point here? Okay, in in this uh, in the construction of this kind of sentence, uh, we are going to uh, identify the reason and the condition of something. Um, where, what is the reason uh, that we have for something to happen? Okay, that's what we are going to be asking. The, the, the rest of the sentences is going to be taken from your personal uh, perspective and your personal information too. So you decide what you are going to write in order to complete it. Okay, you will, you're going to have six minutes you think that's enough, six minutes? It's okay. Is it okay? Yes, six, six minutes is okay. Thumbs up, okay, very good. So uh, you're going to have six minutes till now, complete the sentences, and then I'm going to be asking you, and then I will extend the explanation of this. Okay, so see you in a moment. Mr. Vasquez, do you want to say something? Yes, uh, I, I'm i late. Uh, what do you have to do uh, for practice? Well, um, we are going to solve an exercise. Uh, I was dictating uh, to everybody here five sentences uh, that they have to complete with, um, well, the, you have to complete uh, using reasons and conditions. Um, these sentences are incomplete because those are clauses and what you have to do is just um, add your personal information or, or um, the things that you consider to include in each of the sentences. Uh, I'm going to dictate you again, okay? So, um, please take notes. I don't know if you have a, a notebook or a, or um, Teacher. Or paper for taking notes. Tell me. Uh, if you want to, I can take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp group of the. Okay, that will be amazing. That will be amazing. So please, Miss, uh, take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp group. In that way, I, I, I won't dictate again. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Morales, welcome. Thank you. Good night. And good evening, sir. How are you? I'm pretty great. Okay, very good. So we're going to solve an exercise, sir. Um, I'm seeing that you are connected right now. Uh, what we're going to do is just complete some sentences um, according to the video that we have on, on, on the platform. Uh, I played the video before, but in this case, you can check it uh, on the platform you want to watch it. Uh, the video is about um, it's about stating um, stating uh, reasons and conditions. Uh, you just need to complete the clause, okay? Uh, you can use personal information, or if you want to add information that you consider in order to complete those sentences, it's okay. So, um, Miss, uh, who said Miss? Peraza, you said that you? No, no oh, Ms. Galdame. I already sent it. I already Ms. Galdame. sent it. Miguel Dame is going to share with you a screenshot of the sentences that are incomplete. So please uh, take notes and, and complete it with your personal information, sir. Okay? You have six minutes. Uh, the six minutes start right now. Thank you, Ms. Galdame.
Los que eh, ya completaron los ejercicios pueden irlos eh, compartiendo por medio del grupo de WhatsApp. Si lo anotaron en algún cuaderno, pues háganle una, tómenle este, fotografía.
Muy bien, excelente. Ya tenemos por ahí dos, eh, dos personas que enviaron los ejercicios. Muy bien. Richard, a question. Okay, tell me. In this case, uh, exists a rule uh, for the using of the verbs. Um, or everything is present. Or? You mean a rule um, in order to use these kind of clauses? Yes, in the, but, but my question is, uh, we need to follow a rule related to the verbs when we use no. this style of clause. Uh, no, 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 that's not uh, the point of this. Um, let me show you something here using the, the, the video that we have here. Okay, um, if you know, if you, I mean, uh, notice here, um, if we have the, 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 the word that we are using for conditions or uh, to construct conditions, um, and we sometimes use the, the um, simple present, we can use um, a present continuous, past. The idea here um, is just use the condition of something, even, even though if it is in past, in present, or um, in future, so it doesn't matter. What, what uh, you need to be focused on is uh, how to use uh, the, these words. For instance, if you, if you have even if, okay, um, you can uh, say for, in, well, I'm going to use the, the example here that the ones that we have here, it says, I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired. Okay, if you notice there, we have two sentences um, and the word. There is a rule in order to write those kind of sentences, but it's not related to uh, the use of verbs. For instance, if you use even if at the beginning, you don't have to use uh, the comma. But if you use, even if in the middle of the sentence, you need to use a comma in order to identify um, the, the, the other sentence. So uh, that's going to depend on, on the uses that you are going to uh, be uh, writing. Yeah, I mean, the examples that you're gonna be writing. Okay, I have just four replies um, about the exercise and we are here seven people. That's mean that three of you haven't completed yet. So I will give you one minute more. That's mean at um, 9.30, uh, we're going to um, continue with the class, okay? So it was one minute more.
Okay, I'm going to show you something right now um, about the use of these uh, reasons and conditions. Well, um, let me stop this sharing. Okay, uh, here. Hello. Um, I just have to do uh, sentence more, and I'm gonna share what group is. Uh, Mister, I can hear you um, in a good way. Um, I I hmm? I I told that. I just have to complete two sentences and I'm gonna share in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, that you have to complete the sentence. What, I mentioned. That what you have to do is just uh, share the, the sentences that, I'm sorry, that you already complete uh, in the WhatsApp group. Mm, okay. Probably here. Here. Sorry, guys. I, I have a problem here with my computer right now. Um, and try to solve it as soon as possible. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, so I have some problems in order to show you what I want. So, mm -hmm. I sent a picture with my questions. With my questions. Of your sentences. Oh, okay, okay, very good. So, give me just a second. Here we are.
Can you see my screen right now? Hello? Hey guys, hello? Oh. Can you see my screen right now? Yes, no? No. No, not yet. Okay, give me a sec. Um, okay, and what about now? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, very good. So, <laughs> sorry for the delay, guys. Okay, um, when we use um, as soon as in some other words such as even if, okay, um, there are some specific moments when, where we have to use it. For instance, if we use the even if in a sentence, um, it says because um, this phrase or the purpose of this phrase, it is used for emphasizing that a situation or a particular situation will be or will remain the same no matter what happened. That's what it says, okay? Um, that's mean if something is going to happen, uh, I will do whatever uh, things that I have in, in my hands in order to do or in order to complete what I propose to do. Um, here I have one of the examples of it, and it says, I'm determined to prove my innocence, even if that's mean going to the highest court in the land. Okay, that's the, that, that's the sentence that I have for this, uh, for this example. Or we also, we can say, I will go even if you forbid me to, okay? Even if you um, don't allow go to a specific place, I will go there, okay? I will go, no matter what happened. That's the use of even if. And here we have two sentences. If you notice, if you notice here, we have two sentences. We have joined two sentences to complete or and to um, let match them in, in a clause. Um, the first sentence is, I will go, okay? I will go. If you notice there, it's in future. I will go. You forbid me, you forbid me, it's a sentence, but in this case, we have what is called a dependent sentence, okay? Dependent sentence. Why is a dependent sentence? And, and what happened with the number one? And it is called dep dependent sentence because um, in order to understand the context of what I'm talking about, I need, um, an information before or the context before, okay? What are you telling me that you um, that you will that that um, you forbid me, okay? You forbid me. So I need a context. And what is the context? Ah, you are telling me that you will go even if you forbid me to 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 do that. Oh, in the in, in the example number one, it says. If that's mean going to the highest court in the land, that's a sentence, that, that's a, a complete sentence. Uh, but I need a context in order to place that sentence uh, or in order to understand uh, that sentence at all. Uh, I don't know if it's clear in this part. So we need an independent sentence and a dependent sentence. It is clear. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. Uh, and what about the rest? Is it clear what I'm saying? Just write me a, yes. a letter. You can you can write the letter right for yes or the letter N for no in the in the chat box. Okay. So um, then we have we're going to see. Um, this other this other example uh and this one is a, an extra one because um is even thought 
What happened with this structure? Uh, this, even though, means the same, or it, it, the meaning is the same than uh, using even if. So we can use it in the same context. Uh, and as we saw previously, is when we want to emphasize that something is going to happen, it doesn't matter what uh, we can consider for it. Uh, so even though, then we have this. Then we have the use of unless. In the case of unless, is in similar in meaning to if not, okay? And in this one, it can be used instead of if not, in certain type of conditional sentence. Uh, like unless is followed by a present tense, a past tense, or past perfect tense. Uh, so we're going to use it. Um, with present tense when talking about the future. So that's what we're going to uh, identify here. In the examples that we have, in order to understand better what we have there, uh, the first one says, you will damage your health unless you stop smoking. What happened with this kind of word, with this, um, um, with this word, unless, okay? What is happening there? So sometimes we use unless in order to give advice to someone, okay? So in this case, I'm saying you will damage your health. That's the reason of something. That's the action that is happening. So, and if I add unless you stop smoking, that becomes an advice. Why? Because I'm telling you stop smoking, okay? Stop smoking because your health is going to be worse. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, OK. Then we have the other sentence that it says, unless she was working late, she will be here. Uh, I wouldn't have taken power unless his car hadn't broken down. Uh, there we have some of, of these connections. Uh, sorry, this is the same. Um, and we're going to see the word in case. What happened with the word in case? Um, it says that in case this used to talk about things we should do in order to be prepared for possible future situation. In other words, uh, in case is considered as a structure we use when we want to express uh, how we are going to take uh, uh, precautions about any, uh, about any that can happen in the future. So, or the, or, or, uh, take precautions for the possibility uh, of something can occur to us or someone else. Uh, check it out, these notes, because the, these are important in case. It says that it, it is an, a conjunction, which is used to join clauses. Uh, in this case, a dependent sentence and uh, independent sentence. Um, when we use in case, one of the sentences is going to express an action, and the other one is going to express a reason of something. Um, it says that in case is used before a clause, which indicates the reason and cause. And also, in case it is used to indicate, uh, as we know, what I was telling you before, the cause of an action which is mentioned before. Here we have the structure, how we construct this kind of sentence. We have the main clause and uh, the reason in this case, that's gonna be the dependent sentence. Uh, the main clause, it's as, as we can identify there in, in, in uh, blue. So in case in green and a clause that is gonna be the reason, is, is in red. So if we uh, if we make that uh, that uh, formula shorter, we can say that the main clause is gonna be the precaution of something, and the um, reason is gonna be the possibility to do so. Uh, here we have some examples of it. It says, "I will not go to my office by my car." This is the, the, the main clause, the action. 
in case it is snow. That's the precautions the, the, that we are going to take uh, in this sentence, or that we are going to identify in this sentence. The same happened in the second, in the second one, where it says, my mother put a cake in my handbag. In case I was hungry, action and reason of something. We can define that kind of sentence like an action and the reason of something. What I'm taking this action, okay? Or what did I took? Uh, I mean, what did I take this action? So in the first, in the in the second examples, my mother put a cake in my handbag. That was the action that I that I uh, took. So why? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ah. Because, or in case I can be hungry, maybe in school, okay, maybe in, in the place that, that, that I will go. Uh, so that's gonna be the reason why I did that before. Is it clear, guys? Thumbs up if it is clear or. Uh, if you have any question, please just let me know. Do you have any question? No. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do? You notice uh, in, in the in the um, last conjunction, this in case we have like the reason and 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 also we have the precautions there. Um, I mean, the precautions and the reason, sorry. Um, what, what are we going to do is uh, we're going to go to, to work in, in trios and we're going to discuss the uses of in case. And you're going to bring me with your um, uh, classmates um, and small analysis of the uses of in case. Uh, you can discuss that. You are going to have five minutes in order to discuss that, and then you will be back. Um, it's going to be in trios. Uh, I mean, no. Um, okay, it's going to be a group of four, and it's going to be a group of three. I will join to the group of three, and um, I will create the breakout room right now. Okay, so please join to each of the um, breakout rooms and see you there. I I can uh, hear you, Nathalie. Uh, Miss Gardames, can you hear me? Sorry, I hear you. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's discuss about the uh, use of in case, okay? Mr. Vasquez and Mr. Okay. Hernandez too. So. Okay. 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 Well, it says it's a conjunction which is used to join to close. One of them express action and the other express the reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss. Uh, 
Okay, I will ask you something. In what mm -hmm. kind of context can we use um, in case? Okay, um, I understood that we can use in case when we have a condition or a circumstance that we uh, don't desire to happen. We don't wish to happen. So uh, to prevent that circumstance uh, occurs, we have to do something. Is that correct? Uh, Ms. Adames, what do you think? Yes, I'm, 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 I, I think that's right. He's right. I have, a, I have a, an example here. I, I wrote this. I like to call my mother be, before I visit her, just in case she decides to go out. That, that means I don't want to go. I, I will call my mother just in case he decides to do something I don't want her to do. Uh, but I don't know if you understand what I am saying. <laughs> OK, OK. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, uh, Mr. Hernandez. Good evening. Um, my opinion about can you repeat? Uh, Mister, I was asking you about the use of uh, in case. The use of in case. In case. Mm. I think that. It can could be in use in the, in the correct form. Can hear you, Mister. Mm, sorry, I was I was um I was I was telling you something, and I didn't notice that I was muted. Um, I was telling you that in the case of in cases we want to um as Miss Galdame said, be prepared for something uh, that we don't want to happen. But I can say that in case. It can be used uh, in order to be prepared for something to happen. Why? Because imagine uh, that you're going to be working at till, uh, I mean, till uh, uh, five o'clock, uh, 5 p.m. Okay. So, and you will start at seven. Um, so, you need to be prepared for um, uh, the lunch. Okay. Because you know that, that, you, that you will be till seven. But imagine that the, your boss tell you, um, well, uh, tomorrow you are going to be working um, till 5 uh, p.m. in, in, in case uh, Ms. Caldames uh, uh, comes to work, okay, and Mr. Carlos says, so in, I will prepare my lunch in case, okay, Miss Galdames don't come to work. So this is a precaution that I'm taking 
in order to identify that something can happen or not. Uh, it's like the example that I said before, like uh, uh, my mom put, uh, put me food in my handbag in case I was hungry. Why? Because maybe uh, I went to the school, I will left the school at 12 uh, p.m. and I will be hungry. So she's taking precautions of that situation to happen. Okay, is it clear? Yes. We need to be ready in case something happens for a possible situation. For, for a possibility, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So time is over. We're going to um, go to the uh, general room. So I will close all them right now. Open your microphone. Thank you, sir. So um, what can you tell me about the use of in case? Uh, well, Miss uh, Garcia, the group of Miss okay. Garcia. Uh, an example is, I stay here in case you need me. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you notice there, we're taking uh, precautions about a possibility for something to occur. Okay, very good, guys. Uh, we're going to start here because we don't have enough time. We have just one minute in order to finish this video conference. And I will give you this space um, to ask me if you have any question. Uh, do you solve the problem of the certificate? Do you check if you already solve it? Because I report that problem to the um, to the technical, uh, I mean, to, to, to the department of support. Uh, the bottom for us for the certificate is it appear, but the percentage of the complete list is end in 94%. It doesn't pass from there. Yeah, that will be a mistake of the platform, maybe in the calculation of the percentage of something, or we can check in the in the list what is missing. I don't know if you can if you can uh, please take a screenshot of your progress and send me uh, that progress. Progress. I mean, uh, if you want privately uh, in the in WhatsApp, uh, in in that way I will check uh, what is the exercise that it is uh, missing and that's it's for all okay that information is for all if you haven't complete like the 100 just take a screenshot or take a photo to the progress and um, let me know in the in whatsapp okay so and i will be checking that and i will be reporting all those problems um okay 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 very good so guys um that's been all for tonight uh, i wish you uh, a, a nice night and i will see you tomorrow we're just missing just three video conference uh, we're going to see uh the last one of the week this coming thursday and then the rest the other two this coming monday and tuesday so uh bye bye blessing for all of you okay bye bye, bye. bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.